All right, guys, so we are looking at a pair of MIFO, MIFO? I always see that wrong, I think. MIFO 07s, MIFO 07s. TWS wireless headphones, Bluetooth 5.0, surround, stereo, glory days, etc., etc. These are coming in at about $220 Canadian. Now, these are definitely a little pricier earbuds than we normally do here. And these put you in the range of earbuds like the Apple AirPods. So I'm curious to see how these perform. Spec wise, they do look like they should be really nice. They do have a couple features on here, of course, that the base earbuds don't have. One of the big ones here is the CVC noise canceling. Now just kind of be aware with CVC noise canceling. As far as I know, knowledge wise, that CVC is based solely around noise canceling when you and I are on calls. So it's not necessarily one that you would hear when we are listening to music, but during phone calls, this could be a huge perk. These are the upgraded version of the 07, meaning that they are using a dynamic speaker. Bluetooth earbud provides you with the most realistic, clear sound, it says. Powerful bass, customers who like hip hop, electronic music, etc. These will definitely keep you satisfied. And who doesn't want to be satisfied? I like to be satisfied. You probably like to be satisfied. So what we're going to do is open this here box here, here, box here, this box here. Take a look at what comes in the box. Set them up on my old iPhone. Take a listen and see what we think. Coming up. All right, my friends. So we are looking at the MIFO 07s, 07s. I'm not sure. Nobody really knows how to correct. I did a search. Some places have it as a zero. Some places have it as an O. I'm going with 07s. I'm going with O. I say that's what it is, 07s. Here they are, 219. They do come in a indigo blue or a dark gray. So you get some choices here, which is kind of cool. These are completely touch-based, so no physical buttons on them. Uh, do come with a mic, of course, to complement that CVC noise canceling, which is gonna be useful for phone calls. But today, like I said, primarily, we're gonna take a look at what comes in the box. We're gonna hook them up to our phone, do a nice little sound test to see what we think. One of the reviews that I looked at while on Amazon complained a little bit about noise distortion when they broke about 80, 85%. So I want to, validate that. I want to see, I'm going to crank my phone up to 85, 90, 95%, maybe hundred percent. Maybe we'll go crazy. hundred percent. Let's see. And see if we also hear that. But first let's look at the box. The MIFOs come in these really big boxes. Their presentation, I have to admit, is really, really nice. You can see that here. Look how big that box is, right? That's a large box. So when you get this in the mail or through Amazon or wherever you get it from, you're gonna get this and be like, okay, that's it's got some substance to it. Substance to it? Yeah, substance to it. And we'll, we'll see how much substance, so we'll crack it open here. MIFO 07, that's what I'm going with, 07. So there it is, on the back you'll actually see touch key true wireless earbuds. See that does look like an O, right? 07. Uh, Qualcomm chipset, six millimeter dynamic speaker driver, phone call communication, noise canceling. So you will see on the back here, it talks about noise canceling during phone calls, not during audio listening. Uh, touch key, Bluetooth 5, waterproof level IP67, four to five hours of continuous playback and 15 hour playback power on the Charger, which can charge up to three times, standby up to 60 days. Very cool. MIFO 07. See, that looks like a zero, but that looks like an O. I don't, O sevens. Oh yeah, let's crack it open. Lovely box, for sure. It just kind of has a presentation like this. I kind of turn it, you can kind of see it. There's there's a nice presentation. I like that. That's nice. It's like, a, it's like you're getting a jewelry box. It's like, the yellow is different, I'll give it that. So we have user manual. It's a really big user manual, comes in a box. We had the O5s and they their presentation was really nice too. User manual, is that all that's in here? My guess would be user manual and, yep, yeah, close that for a minute. User manual and tips. The nice thing is they do give you a big bag of tips. Look at that, right? 
large bag of tips. So you should have no problems finding one of these that actually fits you. So make sure you try those because anybody who watches my videos I always say, find the ones. If your earbuds hurt, you got ones that are too big, they don't sound great or definitely not very bassy. Sometimes you have the tips are too small. So make sure you get the right ones. Um, you got a, are you satisfied? Again, satisfied? And a little manual, say a little manual, but fairly big manual. So one side looks like it's all in Chinese. The other side is in English. No, nope. some of it is in Chinese. Some of it is in English. This is looks like your English part right here. So it may be a bunch of languages, but that looks like the section right there. It will have some information in regards to how to get these to pair and some instructions on how the touch features work. So we'll throw that stuff over there. We get says Dela line. My guess is this is just the USB. Now I do like they they come with a nice USB cable and the O5s did this as well. Uh, USB C, which is fantastic, to USB A. It is a lovely cable though. So this cable should last you for a nice long time. You guys can see that up close. Hopefully, there it is. There, you know that's a that's a lovely cable. A lot of times you get these cables from a lot of these companies and they really cheap out on the cables but not these guys that's that seems like a nice cable and again USB-C so I'm down with that USB-C we'll put that back in here hopefully the earbuds have some charge but again presentation top notch well done and I may actually put this stuff back in here just so I don't lose it okay use your manual back in here and we're gonna move this out of the way and we're going to take a look at the earbuds. So here they are, little wrapper on top of them. Unwrap those. Now I do want to show you something. This is, this. these are heavy, but see the size of these? These are the, again, the O7s. You should know that because that's what you clicked on, O7s. This is the navy blue. Now I want you to see the O5 plus that I got. So these are the O5s, I'm just going to put you beside it. You can see the big difference in the case. Now this should have no problems getting you, like it said, a couple hours of charge you know you're going to be heading to the gym you're going out for the afternoon you're going to be listening to your music kind of just for the day the o5s though just so you guys are aware and i have a review so just go head on over there and take a look if you want to see the o5 plus this has a much bigger battery in it so you're looking at like 2600 milliamps versus I, i'm not even sure my guess would be definitely under a thousand for sure but that's traditional for for earbuds, especially this that size. That's a little bulky in your pocket, for sure, and heavy. This has got some weight, don't get me wrong, this has got some weight to it, but that's a really nice size for a case. Really nice, you guys can see that up close. I'll bring it up here for you so you guys can see that, right? There's that size. And I like the fact that they got the name in there. I like the blue, everything looks fantastic. Nothing wrong with that. And if we just crack them open real fast, they probably have the same kind of case as the other ones where it's this neat little hinge. Yeah, so this kind of this hinge on there for opening. It really, they really have it designed so like you're opening up a piece of jewelry. It feels like it. You definitely has that feeling that you're getting what you pay for. You guys see that right there? Hopefully, they're there. I think those are lovely, right? And, I, and I, I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan of that blue. That blue is really nice. All right, so there they be. Now the one thing that they say, they do say it on here to make sure, and you can kind of see it here, these, these greenish little tabs. You wanna make sure you take those out because those are protecting the earbuds from making connection with the charger so that your earbuds don't lose charge while they're sitting in the box being shipped to you. And so you take those off, there they are, just little tiny tabs on both of them. So you want them to take those off. And the other thing too is that if you had issues charging, it may be because those are still on. So we want to make sure that these snap in there nice. And you'll see instantly the little light turns on saying that they have started charging. Now they may even be starting their pairing mode. So let's go in here on my phone and we're gonna bring up my Bluetooth. I can find it here somewhere. Bluetooth, there we go. And Bluetooth there. We're gonna take these, pop them in the old ears. Good, good. And just so you guys know, these little, I wanna see the little tips. A lot of people look at these and they, they think these are like the wing tips that a lot of earbuds have. And the wing tips usually go up inside here. 
That's not how these are designed. These are kind of the stem, just like you would on like AirPods or something like that where the stem comes down. My belief is that this is probably where the Bluetooth antenna and stuff like that is. So they kind of go down there, which is nice. You can kind of see on the screen right here, we do have the smart control turned on or you have it listed. So little instructions, what single tap, double tap, triple tap, all that does. So we're going to bring my phone back up here. I am, oh, there they are, my phone 07L. Perfect. Seems to be connected. And what I had heard is you'd get this pairing request and you have to make sure you hit pair or else it doesn't work. If you hit cancel there, you get nothing. So these should be, these should be on connected. And we are going to see first, listen to some music. Now I may have some music here it has no copyright. So what I want to do is I'm going to turn this up fairly loud. Hopefully you guys can hear it. And the other thing that's important too is to realize is that this music that I'm listening to is not in a MP3 format or anything like that. They're either AAC files or WAV files. Either way, they are less compressed, which means their ability to not degrade at certain volumes should be a little better. And we want to make sure that this person that was saying that they were having uh, static issues over a certain volume was not because the song itself was starting to distort. It can be because of something that is not recorded well or has a lot of compression on it. So what we're going to do is click on here. We're going to see if we can find this song now. I think it's in here. Yep. And the song title was called, okay, let me just find it. And I wanted something that had a little bit of vocal to it just so that we can test the vocals. So I'm going to click on this one. This one should be it. I'm going to crank this up right about, right about 75 to 80% right now. All right. And play. Okay. Definitely no distortion yet. I'm going to crank them up louder. Still no distortion. And they got a good seal to them and a nice low end actually. Let's crank them all the way up, right? This is at full and no distortion at all. Actually really nice sound actually. And this is at a hundred percent volume. And I'm going to let you hear what I'm hearing right now. So you guys can hear what kind of music it is. All right. So here you go. getting any distortion out of these at all so all right so I'm gonna stop that and I'm gonna play something a little more traditional of course I won't be able to play it for you guys because I don't want to get any kind of copyright strike on this so I'm gonna bring up good old Apple music here uh, and we are going to do a listen for let's go here to browse I'm gonna do what I usually listen to which is we're gonna bring up good old lady Gaga here and again I have this right up at 100% and I'm going to bring you up really close to the mic here so you guys can possibly hear if there's any sound leak. Ready? So here we go. The bass is kicking right here. Okay, I'm going to stop it there. These sound really good. I don't know if this person here who had done the review on, on the website here Maybe had a bad pair of earbuds. Maybe it was a defective pair. I don't know. These sound really good. Like they have a really, really nice full sound. They do talk about that these are really for someone that likes that bassy music. Yeah, I, I would say it's definitely got a real focus on that mid to, to low end for sure. But the highs aren't being ignored by any means. Now, I'm not looking at this as a audiophile test. This is not a scientific waveform magical test. I don't know. I just want to know if they sound good. Are they worth 200 bucks? Actually, you know, I've listened to the Apple earbuds and uh, I do think that these sound better than the $220 Air earbuds, AirPods, whatever they're called. And if I'm wanting better audio quality, I would say I would go with these. In this price point, I think actually 
these aren't these aren't these aren't too bad actually two hundred dollars um, and I do think you're gonna get what you pay for the earbuds really fit really nice the case is really good it's got really nice presentation again presentation shouldn't play a huge factor as you and I are getting earbuds for sound quality but I do think these have a really nice sound to them a very full sound for sure uh, I do like the blue color and the fact that you can get them in blue and or the gray and I do like how simple they connect I like the fact that they come with all the extra tips so that you can get a nice custom fit just to make sure they fit you well nice small case super easy to just pop these out once they're out open your case up here they fit in the case super simple right boom boom and that's it it's it's all kinds of it's all kinds of magic two hundred dollars for a lot of people still can be a lot of money but if you want that little bit of extra sound quality i actually think these sound really good definitely a little bit i don't want to say a lot better a little bit better than the o5s but i think if you want that portability and sound you go this route if you want to have a, a battery case that will give you a little longer because it's just bigger uh, the sound is comparable i do think the o7s may sound a bit better not a lot but a bit all right guys i'm gonna leave you there this is the mifo o7s right there mifo o7s i like that color you don't see very many brands giving you cases and earbuds that aren't just black or white so i, I like that and don't look cheap when doing it all right, my friends, links down below if you're interested. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you guys have a pair of these or have any questions on them, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on them. And if you do have some questions, I'll see if I can get back to you with the answers, if I can. All right, my friends, I'm going to leave you there. Later.